Well, as fun as Baraka has been, unfortunately, it is my last day here. So instead of doing something normal people do, like more water sports that just makes me incredibly seasick, which is why you haven't seen any of those in the vlogs, I like being in the water, not necessarily on it. In true entrepreneur form, I'll just go to a nice coffee shop and enjoy my last round of overly sugary shakes, but they taste so good. And just journal and work on deciding what my projects are going to be for the rest of the year because as usual, all the project plans I made at the beginning of 2020 for 2021, and they haven't worked out for a variety of reasons just because that's kind of how life and entrepreneurship works. So time to start journaling. far into journaling. I've got three shakes here because it's the last day, so might as well go all out. So let's see which one wins. We've got strawberry. Pineapple. Oh, that is good. Nope. Banana. Banana definitely did, definitely wins. Although we did an Instagram poll, uh, myself versus my wife, and only like two other people like banana, everyone voted for mango. So apparently if you like mango, that's what you should just get. So if you're ever curious uh, what I argue about in the Whaling household, it's, it's, it's which shake is better. Which, by the way, hello. Hello. First time introducing. I realized we did all these vlogs and I never actually introduced her and that was just because of work-related stuff that actually doesn't matter anymore. So, okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What's the worst part of being married to an entrepreneur? All I think about is work. I have to uh, vacation by myself for a week. That's not true. I made best friends with the wait staff. Okay, <laughs> that is true. Because he worked for six hours while I hung out by the pool waiting. Yeah, sounds about right. In my defense, that was that was a client <laughs> emergency. That was a client emergency. <laughs> in my in my defense. Yes, that was an exception. <laughs> I got one free pass. All right, time to chug all of these guys and actually come up with some ideas on what the heck to do because there's always more ideas than there is time. And as usual, there's way more ideas than there is time in the day. And I think, oops. <laughs> and I think you're pretty much gonna deal with that with anything that you do in life. So I have a ton of different ideas and different things that I wanna do. And I pretty much have to pick two or three of them. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. we've dodged the YouTube copyright police because there's music playing pretty much in every restaurant. And while it is good music, you know, YouTube doesn't like that in the background for obvious reasons. So what I was trying to say is you need to pick two to three ideas that you're going to focus on over the next 12 or 24 weeks, depending upon how many quarters or, or months you're looking at. Me, I like doing things on a quarterly basis. And the first one is always content because when it comes to YouTube, there's always new types of videos. There's always looking at how to improve future ones or just trying to keep up with the ridiculous posting schedule you've created for yourself. So that like automatically takes one of the spots. In this particular instance, content's actually going to take two of the slots. So I've had to, I have to essentially just choose between making a new product or working on optimizing the sales of the products and services that we already have. And that's something that I typically kind of rotate between trying to make new products, which most of them, most of them have failed, right? You, I have a bunch and nobody really wants them, right? And then promoting those products that nobody wants. Although we have found that people have 
been, we've had some really positive feedback with our Google Ads campaign builder and our Google Ads, Google, Google, Google Ads copywriter course. So the third slot for me is going to be actually finishing building those funnels. A couple of vlogs ago, I was doing some YouTube ads for those. And we're just going to see if we can actually be profitable starting to run traffic to them because there is a huge, huge difference between having a group of people or audience who actually enjoy watching or reading your content and then you offer them something of value and they go, oh yeah, well, I, I, I know you're not gonna scam me so I'll, I'll go ahead and try it versus you know, you're running a completely new ad on YouTube and you just pop up and most people just go, oh, that guy's probably you know, full of it. He has no idea what he's talking about. So we'll, we'll see how those go, but that's going to be what I focus on for the next quarter because number one, we have some big content changes coming that I'll talk about in a future vlog. Number two, my website is still broken because we got hacked. We got hacked really bad. So that's number two. And then number three is just working on sales funnels to actually sell some of the products that we have been working on for the past six months. So with that, I am just going to stay in my hotel room for the next three or four hours because it is so, so blazing hot outside. So time for pizza and then checking in on Basecamp. And I'm somehow already back up to almost 50 notifications on Basecamp. And that just goes to show how many things have gone wrong on this, uh, on this little trip behind behind the scenes. So I did share in previous vlogs all of the client stuff we had to deal with, multiple clients just out of the blue, and then one internal fire that was just just grinding my gears the wrong way. So I'll talk about that when, I, when, I, when I'm calmed down. But something else that <laughs> fell, fell to the wayside is there were a couple of vlogs where I just straight up forgot to, forgot to end them. We got to the end of the day, and all I had to do was like a 30 second, that was it, goodbye, but I totally forgot. So wound up spending quite a bit of time going through the entire day, figuring out what happened because after, I mean, when you're going through footage a week later, it's amazing where you look at it and go, that was only, that was only last week? Like, no, no way. <laughs> or that was only two weeks ago? No way. So definitely going through, I would recommend if you do any sort, decide to do any sort of vlogging or content um, things to make sure that within the first 48 hours of recording, if you can, go through all your footage because I'm looking at stuff from weeks ago and I, I'm just looking at it going, I, I don't remember, I don't remember that at all. And I can't remember what, what I was thinking in the moment because I was, I was just too busy recording everything. So let's just go back to the beach for a second. Oh, so calm. That's, that's the reason, that's the reason we're all here. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Lots more vlogs on the way because part of that uh, content change that I talked about earlier is actually getting back into sharing and, and vlogging because there's just so many things to enjoy about business, but also other things that just, just go terribly, terribly wrong. But as long as you're in a great place and you're building the business you love, you have, you, you, you have that light at the end of the tunnel where no matter what happens, you know that this is ultimately what you want to do and that will push you forward. Because if you don't love it, all of these roadblocks and headaches are just going to, uh, are, are just gonna wear on you until you quit. So thank you so much for watching. A full review of Barakai pros and cons as a uh, semi-digital nomad, even though I wasn't here for months, <laughs> months on end, just weeks on end. So until the next, keep building the business you love.